Number 10, represented by an X in the Roman numerals. This mark not only represents the recusant's sigil, but also the gambler of fate, Luxord, when he was part of the original Organization 13. In Kingdom Hearts 3, he returns as a Seeker of Darkness and part of the new Organization 13. And while many believed him to be a pretty cut and dry character, his actions within Kingdom Hearts 3 and from what we see in the Remind DLC show that he may be way more important than any of us thought and so much more mysterious. To the point that Zigbar, someone who's supposed to have his ear to the ground and know a bit about everything, is in the unknown when it comes to this character. And that is one of the biggest reasons why I'm super excited for Kingdom Hearts 3 Remind. What's up guys, it's HMK once again with another Kingdom Hearts 3 Remind DLC video. The giant expansion is right around the corner and we're going to start a video series hyping up to the day of release. As we are 10 days away, how poetic is it that we're starting off with original member number 10, Luxord. This is going to be a big one to get you pumped. Alright guys, for the safety of hype, strap on in and now it's time to dive directly into the darkness. So as a bit of a primer, we should all know by now that Zigbar is actually Lushu, one of the six apprentices of the Master of Masters and the only one that is not a foreteller. And through this fact, along with confirmation through the secret reports, he's been alive and around ever since the time of Union Cross. And given his nature and his role bestowed upon him from the Master of Masters, Lushu, or Zigbar, is supposed to be in the know about pretty much everything, through varying degrees. But when it comes to Luxord, apparently he's not in the know, which is really, really crazy. This man who has transcended time and space, literally one of the ancient Keyblade wielders of yore, the guy that's supposed to have tags on everyone, is in the dark when it comes to the Gambler of Fate's true identity. So when it comes to Kingdom Hearts 3 Remind in relation to the story of Kingdom Hearts 3, Luxord and Zigbar are having a conversation where Luxord doesn't seem to trust Zigbar completely and he asks him of his identity. Apparently they have a small conversation about the black box before Luxord leaves. And when he does, Zigbar to himself says, the question is, who are you Luxord? Obviously showing that he doesn't know as much about this character than he thought he did. And within the main story of Kingdom Hearts 3, apparently Luxord got the task from Zigbar to look for the black box. Now this is where the interesting thought process comes into play. If we go by this order of events, Luxord and Zigbar have the conversation. Zigbar doesn't know who Luxord is, then he decides to send him on a test of a chase. A mission to look for the black box, because eventually it becomes known that he's indeed Lushu, the one who hid the box. So Lushu, as Zigbar, told Luxord, hey, look for this black box. In reality, it was a test to see if he could find it. Being an apprentice of the Master of Masters and given this job to hide the black box, I want to feel that Zigbar was confident in hiding the box and where it was. And that's why he sent Luxor to go find it, because if this dude was really off his radar for all of these years and he doesn't know who he is, Luxor could turn out to be a problem. So with this confidence in hiding the box, Zigbar sees if Luxor can truly find it, because if he does, then he would know that Luxor is a problem. But if not, then it's whatever. And I feel that is the test that Zigbar really wanted to go through with Luxord. But I feel there's more to that than meets the eye. Because what if Luxord actually did find the box, but he didn't do anything with it physically. However, he uses whatever knowledge he gained from finding the box to help Sora the way he did at the end of Kingdom Hearts 3, giving him the wild card. I touch upon this in my Price of Power of Waking Theory series, which you can check out now with part 3 coming very, very soon. This overarching importance that Luxord apparently has is very interesting, especially since he is thrown into the whole conundrum when it comes to the black box. It really drives to the point of mystery when it comes to Luxord, unlike Demix. While there's a lot of theories surrounding Demix, we really didn't see him do anything mysterious in Kingdom Hearts 3 aside from the fact that he's unaccounted, which is obviously the most mysterious thing about him right now when it comes to the Kingdom Hearts series. And when you take that with the fact that he's returning in Kingdom Hearts 3 Remind, it seems that these two stragglers are going to have 
have some sort of revelation within the DLC. Because it really doesn't help that apparently Luxor, along with Demix, are tied to the ancient Keyblade legacy somehow. Something that Xemnas knows, but doesn't really go into much detail, but I hope it's something that does get revealed in Remind, because these other two characters, Marluxia and Larxene, we do know of them from the time of Union Cross when it comes to their other selves, Lorium and Elrena. Whereas we have yet to see these two characters in Union Cross, Luxord and Demix. But I'm pretty sure they're going to make an appearance at one point. But at the same time, I want to go back to the whole duality between Zigbar and Luxord. Because the way that Remind is really making it look like they have some sort of unseen connection. Especially since their elements are space and time respectively. With Zigbar being space and Luxord being time. And you know, those two elements, or I should say concepts are often associated with each other, being brought together for the whole concept of space-time, in which the TLDR that is a model in mathematics that combines the three dimensions of space and the one dimension of time into a four-dimensional manifold. And perhaps it's because of this, since they each have an element that represents one part of this equation, that their true identities remain hidden to each other. And while at this point in time, we do know a great deal about Zigbar, whose real identity turned out to be Lushu, we know pretty much next to nothing when it comes to Luxord. And to that end, Namora has the Kingdom Hearts community eating out of his hand when it comes to who this character could truly be. But when it comes to me personally, I'm still astounded on the whole concept of Luxord and the fact that we've slept on him for so many years, that of all people, Lushu, Zigbar, is the one that is questioning this guy's identity. Which to us makes us ask all of these questions. Who is this guy? Why is he assisting the Seekers of Darkness and the Organization 13 back then and now? Why did he decide to help Sora? What were his true motives? How is he tied to the ancient Keyblade legacy? If Zigbar was in the dark, how much did Xemnas and Xehanort know about him? I must have these answers, and I feel that we're going to get some, if not all, in Kingdom Hearts through Remind. As Namora did confirm that this conversation between Luxord and Zigbar is apparently the beginning of the new scenario, which is known as Remind. Which really makes you wonder how important Luxord will be to the overarching story of Kingdom Hearts, and how important will he be to the Remind scenario, and will he truly be the catalyst of us understanding what is inside of the black box. And while Zigbar, as Lushu, seemed pretty confident that no one found the box by the end of Kingdom Hearts 3 when he summons the other foretellers, knowing him, I feel that Luxord is sitting at the back of his mind. Especially since he may have given our boy a get out of jail free card. Along with all of this, what I really want to know is how much Luxord really knows. Because in the conversation between him and Zigbar, he says that he'll keep playing dumb. Especially since that a lot of his established dialogue has him talking about being at the bottom of the deck, rotting on the bottom rung, seemingly agreeing with Destiny that he is not a person of importance. Well, what we know now, or I should say what we don't know now, it looks like that whole time he was just trying to deflect, trying to keep the attention off of him, which I feel has really worked when it comes to the characters within Kingdom Hearts and to the fans. And I feel that it's all going to plan when it comes to the over-encompassing design of the Kingdom Hearts series. Especially since his number this whole time was number 10, you know, the Remunerable X, and X is very important in the Kingdom Hearts series. But when it comes to the future of Luxord, I want to know almost everything I can about this dude. I want to know his origin, where he came from, what his goals are, why did he decide to join the organization, how he was able to stay off the radar, and of course, for me, most importantly, the truth of his alignment when it comes to all these other characters. And then, at the end of the day, I can't wait for his data battle in Kingdom Hearts 3 Remind. But I want to know what you guys think when it comes to Luxord, his relationship with Zigbar, and what he means for the entirety of the Kingdom Hearts series. Leave your thoughts on what you think about Luxord in the comments section below. And while you're at it, please share it to keep the conversation going and like the video to support the channel. And subscribe as I post Kingdom Hearts content every week. Big thanks to my Patreon supporters for help making this video happen. If you want to find out how you can support HMK for just a dollar a month, please check out my Patreon page. I hope you're ready for this hype time leading into Kingdom Hearts 3 Remind with this whole plan on all of HMK's channels. So guys, until the next Kingdom Hearts 3 Remind DLC video, this has been HMK, and I'll check you guys later.
so you haven't subscribed to HMK yet. Don't piss Xemnas off.